How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Nate's Stuff. It's been a while, but we got a couple packages here that were sent to my P.O. Box. There'll be a link to my P.O. Box down in the description. Uh, this first one comes from Amanda Ruth Art. Okay. Well, let's open this up here. This one arrived a few weeks ago. Um, and I've just been kind of waiting to see if I had any other packages coming to kind of team with it. So let's... Let's open this up here. All right, we got a letter just to begin. It says, uh, Nintendo Prime, an awesome fan of yours, purchased this Hyrule Castle painting from my website, and I wanted it sent to you. Their note says, keep up the great work. I really enjoy your content. I know you're, you really like Zelda. I hope you like the painting. It was a clone by Amanda Ruth Art during the Linktober from last year. Linktober is like a, a, a fest that happens on the internet uh, where people do a bunch of Zelda art uh, in October. And he was, says, I wish you the best, Lewis. Well, hey, Lewis, thank you so much for buying me uh, this apparent piece of art that I haven't, I, I literally can't see yet. Um, then Amanda says, uh, Lewis has been a super supportive of my art, and I agree. Keep up the awesome work and content. I included a second painting as a thank you. All right. So we got a couple pieces of art here and an advertisement for Amanda Ruth Art. You know, I'll put a link to Amanda Ruth Art's um, shop or DeviantArt or whatever this turns out to be on this business card she put in here. Um, wow. Wow, and I'm going to keep this because I always keep all the letters that get sent to me. I actually have a container for it hidden away underneath the desk. All right. It's garbage. Wow. All right, let's, how does this open? Wow, just did my background and I think I need to add something to it. Wow, all right. So this is the one that, um, that Lewis bought for me. Uh, thank you so much. That is absolutely gorgeous. Ruth, you do excellent work. It's even got Amanda Ruth Art on the back. It says 2018, so she did this in 2018 uh, for Linktober of last year. So thank you so much for that. That is amazing. And then Ruth sent me another Zelda piece. It sent me Ganon from, uh, or Ganondorf, I should say, from The Wind Waker. And again, that's also 2018. So those are amazing. I'm going to have to get these framed uh, and find somewhere in one of my sets to fit them. Thank you so much. That is, that is awesome. And then uh, a business card for Amanda Ruth Art with Facebook, Twitch, all that stuff. Um, so I'll, I'll put a link down to uh, where you can maybe purchase some of this stuff for yourself um, if you really like the art. So thank you so much, Amanda and Lewis, for sending me this awesome stuff. All right, next up we have the big boy package. Uh, this was sent to me by James Fazzle out of Australia. I think this is the second package he sent to me for Nate's stuff. Um, so let's, uh, let's, let's see what we got here. There's a lot of tape on this box, but it did come all the way from the land down under. So I guess having a lot of tape makes, makes sense. I don't want the box to fall apart. And the box literally has a hole in it from, from shipping. So uh, hopefully everything survived. Because uh, probably not going to be sending it back. <laughs> All right. Wow, there's some. This stuff's bubble wrapped. All right. Um, <clears throat> All right, page one. To Nate, this is a Legend of Zelda edition. Wow. Lots of Zelda stuff on this, huh? You guys know I love Zelda. Uh, it's a Legend of Zelda edition of Nate's stuff. Well, almost. Let's get the non Zelda stuff out of the way first. Uh, one, there are some Dragon Quest badges. Um, they were an unused pre-order bonus I got at EB Games for donating to Starlight. They provide things like video games to sick kids at hospitals in Australia. All right, Dragon Quest badges. Let's see. All this stuff is wrapped, so I'm not sure um, how. I don't, okay, that, that looks like all Zelda stuff. Dragon Quest badges. Um, are they in here? I want to break it in. There's a lot of paper stuff here. All right, so Dragon Quest badges. Or 
something. I'm trying to get through everything here. Oh, look, this is separate. There's also another letter in here. Well, jeez. Okay. Aha! Okay, I see the badges now. Alright. So, Dragon Quest badges. Oh, that's a lot of them. And I don't know who any of these characters are because I've never played a Dragon Quest game. But it is for Dragon Quest Eleven that released last year uh, and is coming to Switch. So, uh, thank you so much, man. I'm going to have to find some place to display these as well. It looks like... Uh, I just reorganized my one collection area, and I'm going to have to find more room for more collection of stuff. Sweet. Thank you. Um, let me see. The Australian Launch CD. This came with my GameCube as a pre-order bonus. It is a smaller PC CD, and it only works um, in tray CD drives. Only works in tray CD drives? So it only works in computer CD drives? Does not work in the GameCube or slot loading CD drives. Mostly a collector's edition item now. Australian launch CD. Australian launch CD. That must be... Okay, I want to make sure I, I get to this stuff right here. Um, Australian launch CD. Okay. Well, let's see here. Ugh. I don't want to cut anything. Ah, this is it. Um, and it says, the hottest clips for upcoming GameCube games. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, NBA Courtside 202, the original Pikmin, SSX Tricky, Star Fox Adventures, Rogue Leader, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, and Wave Race Blue Storm. Wow, it is, de it is definitely made for computers. Old school Macintosh and Windows. Um, and there it is. Like, it's literally a mini disc, but it doesn't work in the GameCube. It's just get, get, it's just a collector's item because it's video clips of all those games. Wow. That is, that is really cool. All right, that's obviously going up in the collection. All this stuff probably is. There's a lot of nice stuff in here. Okay. Um, and this is from Australia. So this is like hardly anyone in the U.S. probably even has that thing because that's an Australian collector's item. All right, uh, NES game poster. I found I had a second original from 1987. They came in most NES games here. So you have an original now to go with the print. Okay, so uh, he sent me a print uh, last time, which was a copy of um, an NES poster. Now he sent me an original somewhere in here. Aha. Oh, oh there it is. I could tell. This is much more fragile than the print. There it is. So he sent me a duplicate of this last time, but it wasn't an original print. It was a copy. This is an original. This needs to get framed. I'm going to put this over with the art, actually. So I actually go get this framed. Because that is cool. That is a collector's item. We didn't get this exact print out here in the U.S. So now I'm getting collector's items from Australia, which is just crazy. Wow. Let's let's keep... Wow. Okay. Pokemon Sun Coin was given it ages ago. You know I'm not much of a Pokemon fan, so it's yours. <laughs> Pokemon Sun Coin. Do I open it? Well, I think it's only fair that I open it and actually take a look at it. Since it's in Pokemon Ultra Sun. So it's Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But look at that. Yep. It's a coin. That is cool. Awesome. Well, I'm not a big fan of Sun and Moon, but I appreciate the coin. And it will obviously have to find a place in my collection with my other coins. I actually have a Mario coins, a bunch of E3 Zelda coins. You guys can uh, probably guess what E3 those came from. All right. Uh, let's see here. Next page. Now for the Legend of Zelda stuff. Puzzle. Should be fun for you and your children to do. This puzzle is not for kids. I'm going to tell you this right now. This is not a children's puzzle. I have seen people try putting this puzzle together. It is hard. Like It's like rated super hard for adults. Because it is the map of Hyrule. But it's all gold and black. Like It's very hard to put together. Uh, but maybe I can have my son maybe help me find the edge pieces or something to get started on it. Who knows? Maybe we'll, Maybe what I could do, uh, since you want me to put it together, 
uh, is I can maybe do a live stream of trying to put the puzzle together. Um, and uh, I don't know. I'm not going to make any promises on that, but I think I have a big enough table here, I think, to put this, this thing together on here. So uh, it might be kind of cool to do uh, once I get my down my down facing camera to maybe do a puzzle put together live stream and chat with you guys. Uh, and then maybe, you know, frame it and put it up on the wall. Cool. Well, thank you so much. That is really, really cool. Let's set this off to the side. All right. Uh, let's see here. A storybook. Another thing I had in a box from my childhood. This one's from 1989. A storybook. Is it that? No, no, not that. A storybook. A storybook. Is it this? That's an instructor. No, that, that can't be from... Well, it could be from your child. It is Amiibo. But I mean, that, I don't think that's a storybook. A story. Oh! Oh, it's based on the cartoon series. No way! I almost don't even want to open it. The Legend of Zelda, Moblin's Magic Spirit. This is clearly based on the, on the cartoon. Oh my gosh! By Jack C. Harris, illustrated by Art and Kim Ellis. This book belongs to nobody. Oh my gosh! Look at look at that! Look at all that art! This is from the original cartoon series, the one that bombed and canceled after one season. Oh, it looks so gorgeous in a book, though. I might have to read this to my kids one night. Although I'm not sure if they're gonna understand. There's a lot of words in here. That is awesome. Oh, there's Ganon. Pig Ganon. Oh, man. This is just taking me back. Flashbacks. I didn't know they made books. Oh, my gosh. Um, there is a whole series of them. Um, the Golden Look books, they include also the ones that made Garfield books and Chippendale books. Um, wow. This was cheap back then, too. $1.50. But, uh, wow. That, I mean, that's a collector's item right there. I, I've never seen I didn't even know these books existed. Wow. Okay. One X Amiibo. One I said I don't have. Well, then it must be one of the 30th anniversary Amiibo. Since I don't have any of the Zelda 30th anniversary Amiibo. I don't have any of those or the Champion Amiibo. And I do want to complete Zelda collection someday, so... Oh, there it is. Yep. 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 It's the uh, Young Link. Look at that. I definitely do not have that one. All right. Uh, I'm guessing that's maybe what these Amiibo instruction booklets and stuff are for. Um, yep. The Super Smash Bros. Young Link. I did not have that one. That's not even one of the ones I mentioned to people I don't have, but I don't. I did not have that one, so. Awesome. All right, what else we got? Uh, a small green postcard. A Zelda image I made years ago. My own design, so I thought I'd get it printed. Um, a postcard. Is it this? It's got to be this. Right here. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this is uh, this is just a bunch of official art in a circle around the Legend of Zelda. Let's see how many of the games I can name here. Uh, it's the Legend of Zelda from the NES. Uh, we got Zelda 2. Yep. Uh, that's a link to the past. Ooh, oh, 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 you're getting me here. Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages. Oh, no. One of these has got to be Link's Awakening. But which one? Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. It's been so long since I've seen some of this official art. Like, what's this one? Is that Minish Cap? No, it can't be. That can't be Minish Cap art. Cause it, it, that's not the. That's not the. Oh man, I can't believe. Look at that, you stumped me. Cause I I recognize all that official art, but it's been so long since I've seen it. That wow. All right, that is that is really cool. Uh, let's see here, a long Link Breath of the Wild card official artwork, but I thought as it's your favorite game, it uh you might put it on the wall. Or frame or whatever, your choice. Just one more way to spruce up my office. And he didn't even write everything down. There's more stuff in here. He's talking about this. 
So uh, more Breath of the Wild official art. I have a ton of it, so just add to the collection. All right, and then there's also a card. So let's open this card first. It says to Nate, um, a thank you. It's a thank you card. It says, <laughs> thanks and keep up the good work. So he writes a letter and then he puts a thank you card in. All proper and official. Well, thank you so much, man. That is, wow. So there's more stuff in here, by the way, that he did not explain. Um, I Maybe he forgot he put this stuff in here when he was writing the explanation. I don't know. Let me put this all down in my my card box down there. Okay, so we got um, a backpack buddy. Um, each pack contains one character, eight to collect. I don't know which character it is because it hasn't been opened. But it could be... Uh, it could be, let me see, Wind Waker Link, Wind Waker Ganon, uh, Wind Waker Princess Zelda, Bombs, a Heart Piece, a Rupee, a Triforce, or the Shield from the Wind Waker. So I'm not sure what it is, but it could be one of those. And the thing is, usually these things are collectibles, and they're worth more money in the package than not. Uh, but you also don't know which one this is. So I don't know if I should open it or not. I mean, there's a package inside the package. But... Hmm. Okay. Um, and then there's another backpack buddy. Uh, this one is Ocarina of Time Fiend. Um, look out for the rare Chase character. What? Who the heck is Chase? Who is Chase? So this one could either be Link, Zelda, or Ganondorf from Ocarina of Time. Um, nine to collect. Well, I guess it could be... Uh, Link Zelda or Ganondorf from Twilight Princess or Link Zelda or Ganondorf from Wind Waker. So I guess it could be one of the nine. It says, it says nine to collect. It just has the Ocarina of Time ones on the front because Ocarina of Time was the most popular game at the time. Um, but what is the Chase character? I kind of want to open it up because if it's the rare Chase character, whoever the heck that is, then it's got to be worth something. Well, that is... He didn't even explain these, why they're in here, but that is so cool. So he's got some bubble wrap, some... Um, amiibo, this is, he, he always, when, when people send me amiibo, they tend to send me all the packaging that goes along with it if they've already opened it. So, wow. Well, thank you so much, James. Thank you so much, Lewis and Rosa. You guys are all amazing. I can't believe what I did to deserve any of this stuff. And the crazy thing is, I already know about like three other packages that are going to be like on their way, if not already on their way, uh, for more nate stuff episodes in the future throughout the summer so i no idea that any like wow i wow you guys are you guys are amazing you guys are awesome i'm gonna have to start finding a way to display some of this stuff i don't think i have a lot of my fan art stuff displayed uh, but i'm gonna have to start finding a way to do it uh, i don't know where i might have to make a whole new set of just fan art <laughs> that gets sent in i got octopath traveler stuff i got zelda stuff now wow well, thank you guys so much. This is great. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode of Nate Stuff. If you would like to send stuff for future episodes as well, be sure to check out the P.O. box down in the description. Also, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. bundle uh, through the Gleam. I link down in the description. When we hit 50,000 subscribers, uh, I'll be announcing the winner of that giveaway. Man, oh man, oh man. Dragon Quest? I mean, guys, this is coming to Switch this year, and it's like the best version. Uh, just a reminder. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next episode of Nate's Stuff.